everyone, this is Ekatna here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve 1 minus x squared into dy by dx plus x into y equals to a. Solution. Given differential equation. One minus x squared into dy by dx plus x into y equals to ax. Consider the given equation as one. Okay. Now we know that the standard form of linear equation, linear equation in y. Is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So if you notice, we are having the quotient of dy by dx is 1. But here in the given equation, we have the quotient of dy by dx 1 minus x squared, right? So in order to make the quotient to 1, what we'll do is we'll just divide the whole equation by 1 minus x squared, or you can just write directly dy by dx plus x by 1 minus x square into y equals to ax by 1 minus x square. Or you can divide 1 by the quotient 1 minus x square. Then you'll get 1 minus x square into dy by dx plus x y equals to x okay then here you're having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split this into two terms 1 minus x square into dy by dx by 1 minus x square plus x y by 1 minus x square equals to ax by 1 minus x square. Here 1 minus x square gets cancelled and you'll get dy by dx plus x by 1 minus x square into y equals to ax by 1 minus x square. Okay? But most of the times, we'll write the equation directly. Okay? Now, Consider it as equation 2, which is linear in y. Which is linear in y. Right. Now, compare 2 and the standard form of linear equation to find P and Q. Simply by comparing these two, we'll get P and Q, where P equals to x by 1 minus x square and q equals to ax by 1 minus x square. Here p and q are functions of x. So we have p equals to x by 1 minus x square and q equals to ax by 1 minus x square. Right. Now, we need to find the integrating factor. We know that integrating factor of a linear equation is given by if equals to e power integral p dx. Now, let's find the integrating factor to the given equation or the reduced equation, equation 2. Integrating factor is I f equals to e power integral p dx is equals to e power integral for p x by 1 minus x square into dx. Now let 1 minus x square equals to some function of x. Since we know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c, right? In order to apply this formula, we need 
f of x and f dash of x, right? Let f of x equals to 1 minus x square. Then f dash of x equals to derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0 minus derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. Which is equals to minus 2x. So in order to apply this formula, we need a minus 2 here. Since f dash of x by f of x integral f dash of x by f of x equals to log mod f of x. So in order to apply this formula, we need a minus 2 here, but we don't have any minus 2 in the numerator. For that purpose, what we'll do is, we'll simply multiply and divide minus 2 to the integrand. Okay. Is equals to e power. Take 1 by minus 2 outside the integral. Integral minus 2x, okay, minus 2x by 1 minus x square into dx is equals to e power. You can write 1 by minus 2 as minus 1 by 2 into integral minus 2x by 1 minus x square into dx. And this equals to e power minus 1 by 2 into integral f dash of x by f of x equals to log mod f of x for f of x 1 minus x square. You can write this as minus 1 by 2 log 1 minus x square this equals to e power log. Since we know that m log n can be written as log n power m. Then this becomes log 1 minus x square power minus 1 by 2. Also we know that since e power log some function of x equals to function of x. Then you will get function of x is equals to reciprocal log 1 minus x square power 1 by 2. We know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2 or a power 1 by 2 equals to square root of a. Then you can write this as 1 by a power 1 by 2 can be written as square root of a. Right? Or simply 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. So here our integrating factor is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. Therefore, integrating factor equals to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given linear equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y into Integrating factor 1 by square root of 1 minus x square equals to integral q. For q equals to ax by 1 minus x square into integrating factor 1 by square root of 1 minus x square into dx plus c. Right? 
then y by square root of 1 minus x square equals to integral you can just write this as ax by 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus x square into dx plus c is equals to a is constant write it outside the integral x by 1 minus x square power 1 we know that square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2 then you can write square root of 1 minus x square as 1 minus x square power 1 by 2 into dx plus c again the denominator you're having 1 minus x square power 1 into 1 minus x square power 1 by 2 now you can add the powers 1 plus 1 by 2 equals to 1 minus x square power 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equals to 1 minus x square power 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 right then this becomes a into integral x by 1 minus x square power 3 by 2 since 1 minus x square into 1 minus x square power 1 by 2 is 1 minus x square power 3 by 2 okay into dx plus c you can write this as x into 1 by 1 minus x square power 3 by 2 into dx plus c is equals to a into x into you can write reciprocal of 1 minus x square power 3 by 2 as 1 minus x square power minus 3 by 2 into dx plus c fine now let 1 minus x square equals to t let 1 minus x square equals to t now differentiate on both sides with respect to x d by dx of 1 minus x square equals to d by dx of t. Derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0 minus derivative of x square. Or you can just write this as derivative of constant with respect to x minus derivative of x square with respect to x equals to dt by dx. Then derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 minus derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x equals to dt by dx then we will get minus 2x equals to dt by dx from this you will get minus x sorry minus 2x into dx equals to dt or x dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into dt Okay, put 1 minus x square equals to t and x dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into dt. Then y by One minus x square equals to will replace these two in RHS part itself. Okay, then you'll get a into integral. You can just write this as one minus x square power minus three by two into x dx plus c. Now it's easy to substitute, right, or replace things. Replace one minus x square by t, then you'll get t power minus 3 by 2 replace x dx by minus 1 by 2 into dt plus c which is equals to write minus 1 by 2 constant outside the integral you'll get minus a by 2 integral e sorry t power minus 3 by 2 into dt plus c since we know that 
integral x power n into dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c for n not equals to minus 1 since you have n equals to minus 3 by 2 which is not equals to minus 1 right so we can apply this formula this becomes minus a by 2 integral t power minus 3 by 2 is t power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by minus 3 by 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c is equal to minus a by 2 into t power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 equals to minus 3 plus 2 by 2 which is equal to minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 by 2 then you will get t power minus 1 by 2 by minus 1 by 2 plus c Then LH is equals to minus A by 2 into, you can write this as 1 by minus 1 by 2 into T power minus 1 by 2 plus C. This is equals to minus A by 2 into. We can just write this as, we can write the numerator 1 as 1 by 1, whole number. We wrote whole number as a fraction, okay. 1 by 1 into 2 by minus 1. And we know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n. Then you can write t power minus n as 1 by t power n, right. Then you can write t power minus 1 by 2 as 1 by t power 1 by 2 plus integral constant c is equals to minus a by 2 into minus 2 into 1 by since we know that a power 1 by 2 equals to square root of a then you can write t power 1 by 2 as square root of t plus c which is equals to minus into minus plus 2a by 2 into 1 by square root of t plus c. Here 2 gets cancelled. Since t equals to 1 minus x square, now replace t. Then this becomes a by square root of 1 minus x square plus c. Then y by square root of 1 minus x square equals to a by square root of 1 minus x square plus c. Then y equals to take square root of 1 minus x square to RHS. It becomes square root of 1 minus x square times a by square root of 1 minus x square plus c. Which is equals to square root of 1 minus x square into a by square root of 1 minus x square plus c into square root of 1 minus x square. Here square root of 1 minus x square gets cancelled and you'll get a plus c into square root of 1 minus x square that is y equals to which is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.